Right, welcome ladies and gents. Godzilla X Kong The New Empire Director reveals Scar King is actually the biggest threat they've ever encountered. King Ghidorah enters the chat. Uh, look, I'm a, I'm a bit surprised to hear this. I think I understand hyping your movie up, but to say that the Scar King is the biggest threat they've ever encountered, uh, I don't know. From what I know of the movie, uh, from uh, a test screen audience member that leaked it to me, he, like he is kind of, but not. Scar King is a big threat to Godzilla and Kong, and you know the un the, the the universe, the world at large, because I like I I guess because of who and what Scar King has under his control, but as as an entity himself, I mean, he's no, he's not really. Again, King Ghidorah is the threat. That was the 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 planet eater, the world destroyer, King Ghidorah. Like again, I understand hyping your movie up, but goddamn, like there's a limit. So anyway, <sighs> Adam Wingard spoke to Total Film recently and there's been a lot of leaks now not leaks but promos there's been leaks as well but a lot of promos coming out uh and yeah total film was one of them they're sort of just discussing some bits and pieces so adam wingard spoke to total film and he was asked about the scar king right and he says what's interesting about this new film is that we go in a direction that i don't think this series has ever seen before Right, which is that the Scar King is, in a way, the closest that the human threat has ever been juxtaposed onto a Titan itself. Right. The Scar King almost represents an upscaled version of the worst parts of humanity, just as Kong represents some of the best parts of humanity. Okay, and he closes this part off by saying, I would say the Scar King is the greatest threat we've seen in these movies. It's really going to take a full team together to bring it down because it's too big for just one Titan. Again, King Ghidorah enters the bloody chat, for God's sake. I mean, that quite... King Ghidorah as a threat to the planet Earth. I mean, all Titans had to band together, basically. I mean, they, they kind of would have done, but, you know, I mean, the, the main three definitely banded together to uh, to sort of team up and try and, well, uh, no, it was really Mothra, wasn't it? Mothra and Godzilla. But Mothra gave her life. I mean, King Ghidorah was such a threat. I just don't know. I don't, like, sure, Scar King is an interesting element to bring to the movies. Again, from what I know of, of the character, the Titan, it's an interesting character. But I also think they, I'm pretty certain they use an element of sort of humanity with respect to King Ghidorah and sort of climate change element was thrown in there a little bit. Not the ham-fistedly, but there was a little bit of that. So to try to say that, you know, this, this, the Scar King is this brand new thing and, you know, it's the closest that we've, the closest that the human threat has ever been juxtaposed onto a Titan itself. The human threat of what? The human threat of... Humanities on Titans? What, what does that even mean? It's the closest that the human threat has ever been juxtaposed onto a Titan itself. I think that's what it means. The Scar King represents humans against Titans? I don't know. Sort of war-hungry humans, I guess? I don't know. It's I mean, it, it is interesting, but for, again, from what I know of the movie... The Scar King, like, fun, intelligent. But King Ghidorah is definitely better, for, again, from what I know. Odd. And to say that it's the greatest threat ever. I mean, we've had now teased uh, rumours that Mothra is going to make a return. It wasn't in the test screen showing that my source had, but that was a little while ago now, so maybe they've changed something. Who knows? I d look, Kong absolutely does represent... The best parts of humanity. Absolutely. I mean, Kong and Mothra, they sort of represent the the more benevolent aspects of nature. 
right? Actual just nature in general. Whereas Godzilla represents, I think, a more neutral aspect of nature. Can be both destroyer and healer. Uh, so anyway, and then, yeah, it starts to talk about the... Um, well, Apex, it teases that with respect to the robotic arm, which I keep calling the Infinity Gauntlet because it's quite funny. Uh, and everyone gets really riled up when I do. It's quite so funny how people get so angry. Uh, anyway, so he says a little bit further about Skarking. He says, it's kind of hard to say too much more uh, than that without spoiling anything because he has one of my favourite intros of any character I've ever shot in my films. I mean, cool, that's fine. What I will say is I'd want to play with that action figure if I was a kid. Cool. Look, I am excited for this film, kind of. Uh, my excitement for this film has definitely diminished since watching Godzilla Minus One and just seeing how expertly handled the material was to a much more serious aspect. And kudos to Legendary, because they know exactly what they're doing with this. They absolutely have pivoted these movies more towards children, right? Obviously, they have. And I understand that they've got to keep making money from these things and getting kids involved is great i actually don't you know i don't see a massive issue with that but it does diminish my personal interest I and mean, i'm getting old now so my my personal interest in this does diminish ever so slightly so anyway he does go on to say further about the the infinity gauntlet that kong wears and though apex isn't in this story in a literal way we kind of hint that monarch absorbed a lot of that Apex technology after the last film. The glove Kong is wearing is somewhat insinuated that's Apex technology. And obviously, well, yeah, I mean, look, hey, it's, it's fine. Sure, I guess, interesting. We'll see. Uh, Mecha Godzilla was, of course, created by Apex. And Monarch, yeah, I mean, they would have got, they would have, yeah, they would have taken it. Why wouldn't they? They're a government body. I don't really care that much about, like, again, from what I know, Scar King's character is fine, but I think they're trying to downplay King Ghidorah. King Ghidorah was epic. I, I still really quite like King of the Monsters. I think it's a fantastic film. So there you have it. The director reveals some elements of Scar King. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear it, so drop it down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. If you want to support the channel, please do consider becoming a Patreon. This linked down below as well as a tip page via Streamlabs. Please do support the channel. We get heavy demonetization here and YouTube can suck a dong. So anyway, cheers guys, take care, bye-bye now.